The BC Aviation Museum has been in the spotlight with the news that the iconic Hawaii Mars water bomber will be landing there in the fall. But it's just one of many historic aircraft the museum has, and they've all been restored by volunteers. Tess Van Stratton takes a look in this week's Vital People. So this aircraft here is the Nordoin Norseman. It was Canada's first purpose-built uh, bush plane. This restored bush plane is one of many painstakingly preserved aircraft on display at the BC Aviation Museum. This aircraft for the museum was a complete wreck. It was a crashed wreckage that our volunteers spent years on. Countless volunteer hours helping to open the door to BC and Canada's rich aviation history. We have 148 volunteers here and everything that you see in this museum has been done by volunteers so far. Uh, so volunteers are vital to the museum. Make sure you don't dent anything. This historic fighter jet, which the museum landed last year, is currently undergoing an extensive restoration. The, the CF-104 Starfighter was Canada's uh, premier fighter in the, during the Cold War. In fact, it was Canada's fastest ever aircraft. But helping the past take flight wouldn't be possible without grants and donations. Any aircraft restoration is quite expensive. And if any time we can get a grant from any community organization, it really helps us out. The Saanich Peninsula Community Foundation has helped many projects, including the Starfighter, take off. The Community Foundation is based on trying to help people who work and play on the peninsula have better lives and the Community Foundation feels that this museum is vital to this community. The foundation was started in 2000 and it helps support lots of different community projects and initiatives. Our grants are typically very small grants but they make a difference in the, in the, in the small organizations that make up the peninsula, make up the difference in the lives of boys and girls seniors. And they're getting a big boost. We'd rather focus on fundraising and supporting others. From Brentwood Bay Rotary, which disbanded and gave the foundation $150,000. They've got the same interests as, as we do, which is community and, uh, and giving back. So uh, I'm very happy to be able to uh, shift our funds over. Uh, be a much, uh, uh, much better way to leverage those funds with the community than we can do because we're a very small group. Looking around the museum, these volunteers are just grateful they can help make a difference. It's all about giving back. You know, I flew for 43 years uh, and earned a good wage doing it. It's now time to give back to the community. It's about community, and so if we don't have community in our lives, I don't think we have much. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.